Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the biggest update from Claude in such a long time and barely anyone is even talking about it or even knows that it exists. That is the Claude Agent SDK. What is the Claude Agent SDK? It's basically everything that they used to build Claude code, but inside the API. Now, why is this such a big update? It's like having Claude code, but in the API. The most important thing is continuous conversation. Previously, right, I don't know how many people know this, but previously what you had to do was you would have to feed the output from prompt one into the input for prompt two just to have a continued conversation with Claude, right, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's a terrible way to do things. However, now you no longer need to feed the output of prompt one into the input of prompt two. Instead, you can use the Claude Agent SDK. It's like having ChatGPT or Claude web conversations, but inside the API. Now, why is this so important? You might be thinking, well, what am I gonna do with this? Why don't I just use Claude code, whatever. Have you ever used Claude code for, I don't know, let's just say lead research or just research generally or ideas or you know anything that isn't coding? I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've definitely noticed this very recently. But Claude Code is actually extremely good at other things as well as coding. I think Claude Code is actually a bad name for Claude Code. It will ideate or whatever the word is. It will do research for you. It will do lead research. It can do all of these different things, right? And I think we all know and love Claude Code for one thing, and that's its intelligence and its ability to have a continuous conversation with you. So why does any of this matter? Why wouldn't you just use Claude Code for everything? What I'm suggesting isn't actually for coding. What if you built a SaaS that uses Claude code or the, sorry, the Claude agent SDK instead of vanilla API calls, you will instantly, sorry guys, RuneScape, no XP waste. You will instantly have a better SaaS than if you just use the API, even if you didn't consider everything else purely because of the continuous conversation stuff. But I'm going to show you in this video, there's even more reasons to fucking love this update. And there's even more reasons to go back, recode all of your stuff using the Claude Agent SDK instead of just the bland wow. API. Now, if you actually go on the Agent's SDK overview, first of all, you can use it either in TypeScript SDK or the Python SDK, right? So if you're building on Next.js, you'd use the TypeScript one. If you're using fast API or whatever, you'd use the Python one. I used the TypeScript one for what I did, and I'm gonna show you what I did in just a second. But before I get into showing you guys what I actually, I just wanna talk about a couple of things. Now, the first thing is that we actually have these calls that we're doing right now. These are discovery calls for MVP or dev that you might want creating for yourself. If you wanna get an MVP built for yourselves, you have an idea and you don't wanna go down the, the kind of normal dev route of either spending months and months on a project or forking out 50,000, 100,000 for an MVP, come and talk to us guys and we can talk about getting it built for you. And like I said, we're basically using the Claude Agent SDK for everything now instead of just bland vanilla API calls. Now, if you actually look at the SDK, there are hundreds of different parameters that you can feed to Claude code. This is the power of this, okay? So for example, if I do MCP, you'll see there's an absolute ton of stuff on here for MCPs. What does that mean? It means that, for example, if you wanted to make a SaaS that would eventually launch websites on DigitalOcean for people, you can do that by giving the MCP to the agent SDK, right? And that's actually what I plan to do with what I'm building at the moment, which is kind of like Bolt.new and Lovable, but specifically for software. Now, if you just scroll through these, you'll see just how many of the different are, how many there are. You can have sub agents in here as well. So just think about this for a second, right? Let's say, I'll give you a direct example from my own life, okay? SEO Grove, one of the things it does, it basically, it's, this is a tool that I've made. One of the things it does is it creates blog posts, but it does so with this old system of feeding the output of prompt one into the input of prompt two, right? So which one do you think would be better, this system or a system where you have one 200,000 Claude Code SDK window, context window, and then within that context window, you have a research agent, a scraping agent, 
a you know whatever agent and then you have a planning agent and then you have a writing agent and then you have a checking agent and then you have a publishing agent right how much better would this system be than this other system above it'll be many 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 times better and i'll tell you right now nobody is really using this um agent sdk obviously some people are i'm exaggerating but only the really big companies a lot of people don't even know this exists right now and it's actually a huge advantage for us if we learn how to use it but we don't even need to learn how to use it because you can literally just press copy page here feed it to claude code and say make me a system using the typescript sdk or the python sdk now let me show you guys what i've been building and i a couple of things that i want you guys to know about the system number one it was built by Haiku, not by Sonnet. It was built by Haiku 4.5. I was accidentally on Haiku the entire night. It was six in the morning. And I built this entire thing using Haiku kind of accidentally, but also really, really interestingly, it uses Haiku. Secondly, this is just an MVP. I'm not intending on um, releasing this as it is now. I'm going to be doing a few more things to it. Now, what this basically is, you can see this conversation here. This is a an API conversation but it looks like a Claude code conversation if you think about it, right? So this is happening on localhost. This is, so I could do this in the cloud. This is in the cloud. It's in the, it's in on the API, right? Just so that you guys know. So look at this conversation. So it, it gets my SAS template, right? It takes the user prompt and then it sends the user prompt. It sets everything up and then it starts to actually, you can see the output. Good, I can see Superbase is configured in .env.local. Good, the dev server is starting. Let me create this. Here's the user prompt. Now let me create specialized sub agents to implement these features efficiently. I'll start with the integrations. All this was, there's, I have not done anything special here, guys. I All I've done is allow Claude code to code itself, right? In this case, it's TypeScript. I'm doing another one that's using Daytona. If you're familiar with Daytona, you'll know where I'm going with this. I'm using Daytona and Python to do the same thing because it's more efficient um, in my opinion. Now, the main thing are these things here. These are really, really big to understand, okay? Multiple exchanges in the same context. This is massive, absolutely massive. Streaming input, interrupt, hooks, custom tools, continue chat, use case for continuous conversations. You can use MCPs. You can use all of these amazing things in the API in a pretty much ready-to-use formula. Now, this is actually a huge update. It's probably the biggest update that Anthropic has actually given us. These are the tools that they used to build Claude code. All of the other tools, I guarantee, will be based off this. All of them, like um, Gemini CLI, Droid, Factory, all those stuff. Every, all, every single one will be based off this system right here. So you can see here, as it's going, and remember, this is in the cloud, right? Database migrations, profiles table doesn't exist yet. You know, all this stuff, it's literally, at the very end, you can see... So it says error here for some reason, I'm not sure why, but perfect, the dev server is running successfully. Now let me create a final summary. Open routes integrations, Gina integrations, API routes, user features, test demo pages, new tables, documentation, development status, and it's given me a locally running, now obviously I don't know how this would work in the cloud because it's locally running, but yeah, you can kind of maybe see what I'm trying to build here. And this was one night's building with the agent SDK. So imagine what you could do with a little bit more refinement as a developer or whatever, you'd be able to build something truly amazing. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I really, really think that people need to check this out. The other thing that people should check out is agent skills as well. I am gonna be looking into this very, very soon, but for now, I'm just getting started with the agent. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the booking link if you wanna have a chat with us, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.